uh, December 31st, 2015, and I decided that it's time to learn more about myself. I'm trying to understand things like, you know, productivity, like energy cycles, how I'm productive and how I get things done. I take on new projects all the time. I don't think I see them through enough, you know, so wanting to understand the, the life cycle of a project, understand my own personal like energy cycles and, and just really becoming a more productive person. I'm trying to become a more happy person. I'm not unhappy, but I'm always looking to, to improve. So my hope is that these vlogs will keep me not only accountable, force me to become a better storyteller, understanding narrative and the narrative of, of life and trying to craft a narrative for every day. I think it'll get me out of the house more, but thinking about the day as just an adventure and taking each of those adventures in, in stride and being able to, to do something new, get healthy, so wanting to look at some of the goals for 2016, losing weight a little bit more. I recently started running about two months ago, so wanting to continue that, being that it's the start of the year, a chance to explore habits and how to make better habits and stuff. And uh, it's a big year for me, gonna have some life changes. Uh, Elizabeth and I are gonna get married, so excited about transitioning into, into that and wrapping my head around this big old world. You know, what does it mean to, to live a life? One of the things I'm most nervous about vlogging is just making sure that the camera and the part of creating the video doesn't become my focus, right? Wanting to make sure that the videos or the vlogs are capturing the stories of the day or the work that's going on um, rather than, you know, trying to capture footage and video and stuff for the sake of creating a video. Like, I love the idea of creating videos and pushing myself a little bit further in that direction, but really concerned about the presence of a large camera like one just embarrassed about you know holding it and being in public it's something that you don't see so wanting to to make sure it's not the focus but i don't really know and you know with every new project i take on i just have to just go for it you know and i'm gonna find out if it works I, by doing not if by thinking about and don't want to be in a situation if I'm realizing it never did work. I read an interesting Medium post that I'll link below where the author was saying that the first 100 times you do anything, it'll suck, it won't work. So I imagine that these first videos aren't gonna be very good. Uh, I'm gonna try, um, but repetition, creation, thinking about shots, thinking about story, wanting to craft the narrative of the day without having it um, become the focus, thinking about when do I take the camera, um, and when do I not, you know, maybe just capturing different things like that. So I hope if you're watching, you enjoy these, but the reason why I'm creating it is for myself. Capturing these times in my life, these moments. This year, uh, 2015 was a huge year. Did way too much, took on way too many challenges or tasks. I'm hoping 2016 is a year of focus, a year of learning myself, figuring out what drives me, what motivates me, what keeps me going what I'm passionate about and understanding the change I want to try to be making in the world. So it's going to be, it's going to be a fun ride. I mean, again, the, the audience is, is one, it's me. So, all right, uh, vlog over. Mm -hmm.